Hi friends, welcome or welcome back. My name's Angel. Today, I'd like to go thrifting. If you've been with me for long or watched many of my thrifting videos, you know that sometimes I go with particular dupe in mind or something that I'm looking to repurpose or DIY. I always keep a running list of items I'm looking for, but this week I didn't find any of those items. What I found was so much more. Let's take a look. My thrifting this week led me to all things vintage, such as this pillar candle holder. It's a 1970s, what they call a drip glaze process. I absolutely loved glazed pottery and all of these colors were absolutely perfect for me. next decorative accessories that I found came in a bag all bundled up. I couldn't see everything, but I knew I really wanted the heavy brass bell that I could see. But I was amazed when I got home and opened the bag everything else that I found. It appeared that these are Asian inspired bells from dinner bells to prayer bells. This is a sacred cow bell and there were so many other wonderful vintage items that I found in this, including this hand-painted porcelain china bell. The enamel work on it is so delicate and so intricate. The whole inside is painted beautifully. One thing that I was unable to determine exactly what it was is this intricate terracotta bell. It looks hand carved to me and there are four different symbols on the side. So if anyone knows what this is, please comment down below. I'd love to know. This item certainly wasn't vintage, but I really loved the color and I love to have nice marble pieces that are very versatile. This little ceramic pitcher is hand thrown, so therefore it's one of a kind. It was dated on the bottom, and the individual who made it did it in 1993. I loved the colors. So this little gem, I knew immediately that I wanted. It is a nautical zodiac sphere, and it looks perfect in my office. It works perfectly, all of the spheres rotate, and it was just so unique with this heavy brass to it, and then this beautiful wood base. I've never seen anything like it, and I had to bring it home. The next thing I stumbled upon was several items from Pampered Chef. I did purchase some of their glazed pottery, but my favorite part was this rattan handled tray. It is so sturdy and heavy and I knew it would be practical for use as well as decorative. Thank you for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed this inspiration and these great finds with thrifting. But until next time, stay on the journey as we continue making our way home. <music>